hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be talking about topic videos and i spoke about it in my last video and i was like maybe i should start doing topic videos on my channel different topics you know just because why not i mean sometimes you just want to get on here and talk like that's just what it is so if you like fashion beauty and my last video i messed up if you like fashion beauty and lifestyle content not really college content a little bit sometimes but not really then go ahead and subscribe to my channel but yeah so today we're going to be talking about your mindset and how you i don't even know how to say this basically how you can make yourself believe in yourself and do what you want to do so yeah let's go ahead and get started so if somebody's new here, let's just start by saying who I am. My name is Janae Chanel. I'm 19 years old and I am in college right now. Um, I graduated class in 2020. Not that that matters, but I went through the whole, you know, the whole pandemic thing where we didn't really get anything. We didn't get a graduation, we didn't get a prom, nothing like that. But so I know that it's easy to slip right out of your mindset. And if I'm looking forward, it's cause my mirror's right here. I'm gonna be getting ready, so but i know how easy it is to slip out of your mindset and not be able to pick yourself up and believe in yourself and what you want to do so let's talk about it bro my baby hairs look so bad i'm sorry they look so bad on the top like this like i don't know what that is or what i was doing but i mean i don't even know how i could fix it to be honest y'all yeah, just gonna have to ignore my baby hairs i don't know why they look like that it's really blowing me i i don't i don't i don't know but yeah so let's just talk because i know that i myself have been struggling a little bit trying to you know figure out what i'm doing what my purpose is what i want to do and stuff like that you know like i've always had the same interests whether it be like art or business art is the main one i've loved art my whole life but when i got to high school i started to be into business and my major is um fashion merchandising and i have a minor in sustainability so that's more like the business major of fashion i'm sorry about this washer let me try again in a few minutes so hopefully that should be a little better you probably still hear the dryer but i don't, I don't know what to say like i don't there's nothing i can do about that but yeah so like i was saying it's probably really hard for you to well not probably really hard but it can be really hard for you to try to pick up after you know the year we've had and we're already at like a crazy age where we don't really know what we're doing so this just adds right on to it so i feel like it's really hard for people my age and a little bit younger to really try to connect to what we want to do in life and you know be motivated to get up every day and do something productive because for one we're all stuck in the house and for two it's like i don't even know like it's just at least for me personally i've just been in a funk like i can't really i don't really have motivation to do anything or to want to do anything so it's hard for me to try to you know like meet my parents expectations or be like the best i can be because my lack of motivation or lack of ability to do anything that i want to do for real i'm not saying i can't but i'm just saying it's really hard you know like i'm a fashion major and all so of course my interest is in fashion and like i said already business but i try to run my business and it's work it's doing fine you know it's good and all i'm on tiktok and everything like it's been doing good so far but some days Honestly, most days I just wake up and it's just so hard. Like, it's so hard to want to do anything at all. Like, let alone trying to run a business while being a full-time student. You know, like people used to say that and I did not get it at first because there's so much work that goes into it. But like, I've always been one of those people who can multitask or who can take on a lot of things at once. Like in high school, I was a cheerleader and I had a job you know, and I had school. So it was just like, I always had to learn how to multitask and i feel like recently it's just been i don't know it's just been so crazy everywhere with everyone the lack of motivation is there and i'm not even mad at it because i get it finally i feel like i'm not having a bad brow day like i've been having bad brow days for i don't even know how long but my brows actually look really good today like per but yeah so now that all the bad stuff is out the way all the negative energy sorry but i did have to i wanted to explain myself you know like what i'm gonna be talking about so 
recently i've been able to you know kind of pick myself up and get stuff done i started falling behind in school and i knew that that was a problem like i knew something was wrong then and there because i don't ever fall behind in school i really like school actually so you know i'll be on it with my schoolwork, but i just could not like i couldn't get up i couldn't do anything like i don't know what it was but i couldn't do it and now i know that it may have been something in my routine so basically what i'm trying to say is anything you want to do it's all about your mindset if you know that you have a goal in mind you need to make sure that you set up a plan that has steps for you to get there. At the beginning of this year, I made a big, I made a couple of papers. Let me show you guys some of them. Hold on. So I made a couple of papers and a poster right there. I have a poster and it has all my business ideas that I want to do this year. This paper right here is basically a list of things that I have to get checked off for this year, for the year end. And then I have this paper and I'm reading a book and I'm just taking the quotes out of the book that, you know, resonate with me mostly. So... That's what I mean, like, I just try to do things that'll help self-motivate me. I know a lot of people, they don't really, or well, at least my age, we don't really, you know, we're not into all that read self-help books and all of that type of stuff, but honestly, once you get into it, it really does help you try to shape your mindset, especially if you're like me and you struggle, you know, some days you wanna get up and you wanna do stuff, but other days you really don't, like you really can't pull yourself to do it. It really helps to read those kind of books and watch those kind of videos. I've recently been watching a lot of like motivational videos on YouTube, like the ones that be telling you, you can do this and not in a corny way, not like the fake me out ones, but genuine people that want you to tap into your best self. And you know, I'm one of those people, I want people to tap into their best selves and learn how to do the best that they can do. You know what I'm saying? Like. I feel like it's so hard to succeed and like if you have an idea it's so hard to go through with it because you feel like you have no support and you feel like nobody's gonna be there behind you to back you up and try to support you and do it but in reality you don't need that the only person you need is yourself and once you start you know getting somewhere with things then people want to try to come support and that's fine because I know a lot of people, it's hard for them to try to support other people when they want to do something themselves. But even though I don't think that's reasonable, I think you should support everyone. I don't feel like you should think that you're the only one that can succeed. So you shouldn't feel like you're the only one who can succeed in something. <sighs> that was so hard for me to say. Like me personally, I want to get into fashion. I mean, I go to fashion school. Like fashion is my main goal at the end of the day and i feel like a lot of people don't really know how to start getting into their field especially in school including myself like the only way that i've been able to get into it is through like the internet just following them and you know keeping up with wsgn and all of that i learned about wsgn through school so that's the only reason i know about that but you know keeping up with stuff like that and keeping up with everything that's going on in your field you'll be able to, you know, see how you're doing and where you want to put yourself in that. And I know it's really, really competitive out and a lot of people don't like the idea of having to work a little extra hard to get somewhere. Like a lot of people probably don't follow their dreams because they think it's too hard. And I was about to be one of those people. Before I was gonna major in fashion and merch, I was gonna major in finance, bro. I don't even like math. Why was I gonna major in finance? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you shouldn't be afraid to, you know, go ahead and go after what you want to do you just need to make sure you have a plan on how to get there and i know a lot of people's parents for one oh my gosh we're gonna do a whole nother video on parents because especially if you're black no offense or if you're a person of color let me say that because a lot of you know like different types of ethnicities and things like that their parents can be very strict on them and uphold them to a certain standard you know and i feel like you don't always have sometimes you're gonna make your parents mad like i'm sorry to say it but some of the things you do and the decisions you make, you do it for you because that's what you want to do. You're your own person at the end of the day. So making your parents have a little, you know, mad, then that's just what it is sometimes. All right, I don't know if you guys wanted to know, but I'm using my Juvia's Place, the Sahara, 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 Sahara palette to do my eyes. Yeah, this is a cheek palette. <laughs> you know, it's for your face, but it, it has some nice colors in it. So I just use it for my eyes, but yeah. So like I was saying, sometimes you're gonna make your parents mad and honestly, they're just gonna have to get over it. Like there's no way around it. Like they're just gonna have to get over it. You're gonna do what you wanna do. As long as it's not something that's crazy bad or like you're not trying to be a drug dealer or nothing. Like, I don't know. <laughs> then I feel like you'll be fine. But just because you have an idea that's outside of your family or cultural norms, 
doesn't mean you shouldn't go for it because you're scared to disappoint someone or you're scared to make someone mad that's kind of the whole point i feel like in our generation every generation to come i think is supposed to make a difference and have an impact on the world and disagree or expand on what the previous generation did you know what i'm saying like i am confident that the next generation after me is going to not have they're not having it like they are not playing with this world and i love that because i feel like that's what's needed i feel like in order for us to get anywhere with anything we need people who are going to push the envelope and you know try to bring hard topics to the table and try to fix things that have been in a terrible way since the start i'm gonna do my eyeliner but i'm not doing it on camera you already know how that goes oh my god it's already 10 and i have class at 11 but i'm trying to i'm trying to fix my um eyeshadow it's looking very 2016 right now but whatever but yeah like i was saying um i'm trying to follow with follow through the whole you know do what you want to do and you can make a living from it because in all honesty i want to be a content creator and i want to be an artist i already make i already paint and draw and do everything like that like my art is inside of my small business but you know my small business doesn't really get that much like people don't really know about it it's not that big basically which is fine i'm patient and i'm working to get there you know but i want to be a content creator and i feel like that used to be so embarrassing to say like hello i've been doing youtube for this long i've been trying to make my instagram pictures look so much better every time like every week i look at my instagram and i hate it because i'm like how can i make my pictures look better but yeah i feel like that's okay to say that you want to be an influencer or you want to be a content creator because i honestly just like to make it like i love making videos they're so fun which is why i still do it after all this time even if i haven't seen as much progress as i hoped for you know like i still want to do it which is why i still do it i really don't even like these eyelashes they're just like some eyelashes my sister gave me but i guess like a company sent her these when they sent her hair or something I don't know, but I don't like them. But I'm leaving them on because I don't really feel like sh switching them, to be honest. Sorry, just get rid of me is not going as I had thought it would. My eyeshadow looks bad. My eyelashes are ugly. But at least my eyebrows look good. Yeah, we'll take it. But yeah, like, I really, that's what I want to do. Like, how cool would it be to just make content for people and they actually love it? And you get to make money from it, pay your bills, do everything. Because I really want to move out. Like, I want to move out by the summertime. I am ready to go. And I've been ready to move out, but it's just so much harder than it seems. Like, I can't really work as much as I hoped to because of school. Like, my school schedule is really, really busy. But I don't know if it's because I have a major and a minor. And I'm graduating early, but I always take a lot of classes. I take classes in the summer. Like, either way, it's just not looking good for me to try to work a regular job. But I can make my ways around with making content because, first of all, I love to do it. Like, it's fun. I like making content. I don't know how many times I've said that already, but I think it's so important to like to do it because when you don't like to do it, and people just do it for like the money or you know the fame or whatever and their content is honestly not that good no offense i'm not saying my my content is great i mean i'm learning as i go and i always have been but some people really don't put the effort in but they definitely get love and you know and that's a little discouraging to see all the time especially if you've been working so hard for so long to get there but at the end of the day everybody has their own path their own journey their own time so I just, you know, think of that when I start to get in that headspace of should I even be doing this or whatever. Just keep doing it. Whatever you want to do and whatever you like doing, keep doing it. I really feel like it's going to pay off. I can't speak for myself because so far, I mean, it has paid off for the most part. I do see some growth in my channel and everything like that. I'm just trying to figure out different kinds of things to do to, you know, make my channel stand out on this platform. Which I think, you know, that's kind of the idea of this video right here. But, yeah. <laughs> I know my makeup looks so crazy right now. And I'm so sorry that you have to see it like this. But I thought this was going somewhere else. And it ended up here. So, that's that's it. <laughs> so, yeah. Saying all that just circles back around to the idea that you just need to change your mindset. And I feel like my mindset is shifting. Because it used to be really on the why am I not seeing anything? Why am I not getting any? you know support or anything like that and i'm trying my best and i i think i made progress to be honest of shifting my mindset to 
just keep working learn every day what you can do to improve and you know stuff like that that's more encouraging rather than discouraging because if you want to get anywhere with anything like at the end of the day everything is hard anything that you want to do is going to be hard and i think a lot of people fail to realize that switching to something that you think is easier most of the time it's still gonna be hard it might still be easier than what you thought but it's still gonna be hard like, anyone that transitions their whole life like, i feel like around my age well a little bit younger than me transitions their whole life like it's going to be hard but you just have to learn how to adapt that is just how it is in the world everything is a change change happens all the time and one way or another you're gonna have to learn how to be okay with it or you're gonna go crazy I know I look really pale, but... And I feel like my room is clean for once, finally. My room is finally clean for once in my video. Well, clean enough. I mean, I made my bed, so... Yeah, but... Just remember that it's all in your mindset. Every time you get up and think about how you're doing and your progress with stuff, just think about how your mindset contributes to that. Your mindset is the main contributor to your success if you don't think that you're gonna be successful in what you're gonna do then you're not like that's just you're not gonna put the effort in or the work in to want to get there or anything like that because you already defeated yourself and you already believe that it's not gonna work so why even keep doing it if you don't think it's gonna work if you're doing something that you have to believe is gonna work or you might as well just stop doing it like let's be honest here and that's just a little bit of tough love because you need it i needed it you need it and if you want things to get anywhere, then you have to keep doing it. I realize that I always complain about my YouTube growth, but I don't even have 100 videos yet. I'm close. I'm really close now. And a lot of people do just like they post one video and it's like, wow, they blow up. But that didn't happen with me. And that's okay because I know that my time is coming. Before y'all get on me, just know that it's the lighting that's making my. I'm using a ring light, but I feel like it's why my makeup is looking so bad right now. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what it is, but my ring light for some reason, it just makes me look really pale and pasty. But it's okay, because I'm not. I'm black. Come on now. But yeah, like I was saying, <laughs> if you don't believe that you're going to be good at something, then you're not going to be good at it. And that goes for anything that you can think of, literally anything. Because any field that you're in, I promise you that whoever you are looking up to in it, they've worked for a long time and really hard to get to where they are and if you want to get there then you're gonna have to do the same thing i know a lot of us are kind of lazy not gonna lie i'm kind of lazy too and i just wanted to flow into my hands but that's not how the real world works and the older i get the more i learn that if i want anything to work then i have to work 10 times harder than anyone else that i see doing it like if you want to become a content creator you need to be uploading every day on every platform do everything that you can and i i've gone on and off doing that but i think i'm becoming a lot more consistent and i've been seeing small but definitely there change you know like i've been seeing growth and with confidence and you just have to post whatever you want and do whatever you want this is specific to content creator but just do whatever you want that you see others doing that works for them or that you think will work for you and most likely it'll pay off i'm not gonna lie like it'll pay off you'll start getting some attention and don't be scared to go outside of your comfort zone or go inside of your comfort zone instead of trying to follow or do what everyone else is doing and you know like it's okay to be original and have your own way of doing things or your own style instead of trying to fall into an aesthetic or you know stuff like that like it's okay to be original and do your own thing use this fancy highlighter with a brush it never works but i just be trying different brushes and it makes a difference sometimes like i guess it's working today it's kind of getting all over the place but whatever so all of this video is circling around is to tell you and i'm not being like one of those people who say change your mindset and everything will fall into place because it won't like i'm gonna be honest it's gonna take a long time like most of the time sometimes you will get lucky some people get really lucky and they you know switch their mindset and one day everything just clicks for them right then and there but for most of us it's gonna take a while and you're just gonna have to learn to be okay with that and if you were relying on one thing then honestly just don't oh my god now i didn't put too much oh my god this is not this is not what i wanted this is not where it was supposed to go you probably can't see it but see that like that's too much 
that's not even it's it's a no for me it's really a no for me but whatever i think i'm gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow under my eye because it looks really like weird under there Please let me know below if you guys like these kind of videos because they're actually really fun to make. Like, this is the fun, the first one that I've focused on talking, like, focused on what I've been talking about. Like, in my other Get Ready With Me, sometimes I branch off into different subjects and stuff. And the type of videos I watch, well, the type of Get Ready Me's I watch, there's always a topic that the person is talking about. And I don't know why I never thought to make those kind of videos before, but in my own way. And for me is specifically focusing on that topic because i feel like that's a part of lifestyle it's in my niche whatever <laughs> i'm trying to hurry up and finish this get ready with me because i actually have class at 11 and the last time i checked the time it was past 10 o'clock so let's hope that it's not 11 yet i just use my lip liner from nk swim beauty supply store honestly these liners aren't that good they're just the only thing i have so it is what it is now i'm just gonna put on some lip gloss and this one is wet and wild. It's from Walmart, actually. But it's so cute. Like, look at it. It's pink and glittery. It doesn't look that pink on your lips, obviously. But, I mean, I don't know. Not on my lips. Maybe on yours. But, I don't mind. And now we're done with our makeup. I can't believe my edges look so bad right now. But, I don't know. They look like... Like, what is that? Like, just crawl into the closet and don't come out. Because, what is that? Anyway. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed my topic video. We're finishing our makeup and everything. And if you like these videos, please come below and let me know because I will make more. I'm going to make more anyway, but if you like them, tell me because that will motivate me to make even more. So, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!